Why are you looking at me funny? You're two men and a baby, bitch. What's up, everybody? Electro Battle Weapon 8 here. This is a slightly different type of moto vlog, isn't it? I gotta go get my bike that's uh, at my brother's house. Yeah, here's my brother. He's super freaking tired. Hi. <laughs> He's been working 12 hour shifts seven days a week. Yeah, we're going to get my bike and then I'm gonna ride back. This feels so weird to drive on the street with a helmet on. Geez, are you rolling gangster mode back here or what? Of course a cop goes by right there. He's probably wondering, why are you wearing a helmet, dude? So this is kind of like a moto vlog slash auto vlog. Hey, you can participate too, you know? You're my guest on this edition of auto moto vlog. That's what I'm going to call it, the auto moto vlog. But uh, you might remember this car from... My first moto vlog when we went to the uh, <clears throat> Cars and Coffee and we were kind of playing cat and mouse. Sorry, no lane splitting quite yet because, uh, yeah, obvious reasons. Did you turn the heated seats on? Dang, that's what's up, dude. Heated seats. Creature comforts, man. It's nice. Maybe his helmet. Sweet helmet, bro. It's all airbrushed out. Let's see what looks he gets from from us. Oh, it's a Suzuki Bandit, like wands. Yoshi exhaust. I think they're kind of lost. I don't think they're from this area, huh? They're like pointing and looking around like, Ooh, look at that restaurant. How about Thai food? You want Thai food? Or do you want Indian food? I want both. I want a fusion. So I got a very sensitive topic. No, I wouldn't say very sensitive for me. Sensitive for a lot of you guys out there. I don't know how many of you viewers are vapors. If you guys vape using electronic cigarettes. You know, well, Long Beach, this great city I live in, has just passed a uh, mandated law via city council. They've practically, uh, quite simply, outlawed vaping for any normal person in a normal circumstance in the city. And it's really sad because a lot of people depend on that to wean and kick their smoking habit of cigarettes. There are two cigar shops back there that we passed that uh, you can completely walk in, buy a cigar, and smoke it inside. Like a cigar lounge. Of course, you've all seen cigar lounges. Same concept. But you go into a vape shop, vape lounge, they build your vape for you, get all your stuff set up. You can't test any juice, you can't vape inside. It's absolutely ludicrous. How often do you pull up to a light, look over, and you see a person wearing a sparkly gold helmet? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's a less than 5% chance per year. That you look over in the car next to you, oh hi, and you see someone wearing a sparkly gold helmet. Oh you know what? Usually in all my videos I do a gratuitous bike shot, but this one might have to do a gratuitous car shot. Let's do that now. My brother is sophisticated sleeper here. Man, we're catching every red light, aren't we? Oh, it's green now. Yay! As I was saying, we got our access port over here. Shows all the major functions of the engine. Uh, he's got uh, intake, full turbo back exhaust, big ass upgraded intercooler core. That's about it. And the car made uh, about 280 wheel and 310 torque. He broke 300 pound feet of torque at Cobb, which was cool. The guy uh, was pretty impressed by that. Show you guys what a quick uh, 
zero to 60, maybe more in this car is. Just uh, basic bolt-ons, intercooler, Cobb Stage 2, tune. This isn't a off-the-shelf tune. This is taken to Cobb and put on the dyno and uh, fine-tuned, so it makes pretty good power. Rip it, bro. Yeah, rip it. Yeah. So say we're cruising along, right? We're doing uh, 50 miles an hour. Oh, right there, fly by from the Scion. Roll on. That's to the floor. 17 pounds immediately. 80, 85. I'll just stop there. Just nice, smooth, flat power all the way through the power van. This is a great car. Idiots are out today, aren't they? Like apparently everyone's like roofing mirrors are busted and they can't see behind them or notice there's cars. Well, we're here rolling up to my brother's house. Let's go ahead and park this thing and change our uh, modes of transportation, shall we? All right, that's more like it. I was wondering if this thing was going to start. It's been sitting for a week. We had some bad weather for a while and I've been busy at work and I didn't really have a chance to come by and uh, take the bike back. Boy, it's almost a full moon out tonight. Right, fellow man wolves? Ah! Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I know, girl, I know. I'll let you wake up a little bit. So how many of you guys that don't have an R, and when I say R, I mean a 1200R Sportster, with the dual front disc brakes like this, how many of you dudes out there feel like you've got the worst brakes in the world? They're just shitty and no feedback, and they are poop. Well, my friends, have I got something for you. Check this bad bitch out. Kapow! That right there is the Speed Merchant Radial Brake Kit Adapter Piece Hardware of Holy Breaking Awesomeness. So check this shit out. What you do is you buy this adapter that's all like super high quality CNC machine, awesome shit. Bolt that shit up to your front forks. Go on eBay and buy a uh, Jixer 600 front brake, the Tokiko ones, you know the ones. Dude, you could pick up a pair of them for like $40, $60. And boom, next thing you know, you got Jixer brakes on your Sportster. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, man. I can't wait to do that. You bet that's one of my next mods. Besides uh, doing the uh, revalve I keep talking about. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna have sport bike brakes. Can't wait. My uh, race season starts here at the end of the month. Ugh, ugh. Those are always two little bad ones. Anyway, yeah. So uh, my first round of competition is the end of this month. Check out this flyer right here. Pow. Just Drift presents Top Drift Round 1 out there at Willow Springs by uh, Edwards Air Force Base. It's a Formula D uh, Pro-Am drifting competition. This is my car. Ta-da! This is what my car does. Ta-da! Anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I kind of sat last year out because I got married and we moved and 
So, you know, you gotta make grown up decisions. Like, there's a difference between having an undying passion for racing and willing to sacrifice, blah, 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 blah. And then just, you know, being a grown up and realizing, hey, you know, grown up stuff has to come first this year. There's always next year, which is okay by me. Saturday, which is the test and tune day, I can go ahead and give ride alongs to people, but Sunday, not so much. Ooh, nice, I caught that just right. This guy's gonna pull in front of me. Yep, not paying attention. Gonna do some prep and check this week, make sure all the bolts and nuts are tight. Like how I reversed that, so I have nuts and bolts, I said bolts and nuts. Because, <laughs> you know, the bolt goes first and then you put the nut on it. That's my way of thinking. Regardless, yeah, it's gonna be a great time. So you guys wanna come out, you're more than welcome to come check it out. There's a very high probability that I will try to do some sort of Saturday testing race vlog thing. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down here in the comments if you wanna see something kind of like I did with a car at the beginning of this video. But on the racetrack, while we're drifting, and kind of talking about car setup and how I got everything dialed in and, you know, just kind of sequence through the day. It's Friday night, man. There's going to be lots of hoo-hahs out today. I saw lots of rubs. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which is right here, I posted a video just the other night of a, a dude on like an Ultra Glide. And he had a like every LED option light available on the thing, like a spaceship, you know? And Ultra Glide's got a stereo, like a premium stereo system in it. So, uh, pray tell, what do you think that dude was bumping? Cruising Thursday night down here, Belmont Shore? Jack Johnson, man. Oh yeah, that's right. So much feels, bro. I'm, oh my gosh, there are so many people out right now. Oh man, your alignment's way off, I can visibly tell. That's when you know it's bad. He has some uh, XXR wheels, bro. $30,000 car, $400 wheels. Buy real wheels, people. Those of you out there that actually, you know, drive and customize your cars, buy real wheels. Don't buy knockoffs. Cast in Malaysia, that crack doing 60 miles an hour over a speed bump, you know, something like that. Oh, I didn't even notice this thing. Is that a Fisker? They don't even make those things anymore. That's what Justin Bieber had. He had a chrome one and he got pulled over in it. Maybe one day it will be his flaming twisted wreckage of a casket. I totally over exaggerated that anyway well I'm back in my hood guys thanks for coming with me on this short little turn and burn vlog hope you enjoyed the first part of this with the with the car and all that because it was cool for me so yeah as always like comment subscribe and share and uh, hate and share again and all that good stuff I really appreciate it and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Later.